Welcome to this episode of Dad Minds. Uh, we're gonna start tackling. <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, we're gonna get started with the steering system. Yeah. So we have a new steering shaft. Uh, oh yeah. Which is nice and pretty. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Like this thing. Oh, it's like a bazooka. It's. Uh... You remind me of Vin Diesel from Triple X. <laughs> Do I? Sweet. I'm short like him too. Yeah. A little bit more hair. Yeah. Tiny bit more hair. All right, so what's awesome about this column, so originally I really wanted to do a floor shifter, but I got to thinking about it, like if I need to put a column in this thing anyways, why not just make a column shift? Well, and the nice thing about money. this is it has all the indicators right there on the steering column, tell you what gear you're in. It looks gorgeous, it's pre-wired. Yeah. It's gonna save us some time. Hopefully install is fairly simple. Yeah, exactly. So this one's actually by Speedway. Uh, so they make, Speedway makes, I mean, a ton of parts. I mean, if you're watching this, I'm sure you know what Speedway is. Um, and yeah, so they've got, uh, they've got their own columns and they're super nice and they've got all the stuff built into them, turn signals, tilt, all that good stuff. So that's the route I decided to go with. They also sell little mounts for the, the steering shaft as well. So this, this goes onto the main body of it. You attach that to the car. I picked up a bunch of U-joints, so these are what gives you articulation in your steering. Yeah, we're hoping to only have to use two of them, but have three just in case. Yeah. You never know. And this is our steering shaft. Yep, pretty straightforward. We'll probably cut that down to size as need be. Yep. And last but not least, we're going to try to reuse the shoebox steering wheel. Uh, the kicker to this, though. <laughs> is this one is splined and tapered as that is just spline and they're different yep. edges. So what we got here is that S10 steering column. And you're probably thinking, why not just use the S10 steering column and be done with it? Um, well, it's ugly. Yeah. It's really flipping ugly. Um, it could probably be made to work, but you've got things like the key cylinder up on the front of it. Um, you got, uh, I mean, it's meant for an airbag, but obviously you take all of that stuff off. And just like the bore of it isn't very pretty in the first place. So hopefully we can get this to work and hopefully this video helps steer you in the right direction on what to do. <laughs> 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 First step is really just mocking things up. Um, you know, you gotta kind of toss them in where the old steering shaft goes through and just kind of get an idea of how it's all gonna lay out spacing wise too. Cause you know, we put in that hanging brake pedal. So we've got to make sure that we're not gonna run into issues with that. So. This is a lot bigger diameter the old one. Center it on that brake piece. It'll have us hitting the arm slightly and it won't be perfectly centered on the speedometer. So what we'll have to do is make a bracket. So what we're hoping to do is we've built that whole brake arm assembly, well, fitted it, and it mounts the underside of the dash. Well, what it does is it gives us a nice flange to mount things to. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an adapter. Uh, so we've got those uh, clamps that go through the, like the tube, uh, hold the tube part of this and have like a couple little arms on it. We're going to try and adapt that so that we're using this mount for the, um, for the brake arm 
and that will help us center this thing and give it an easy spot to mount. So that shouldn't be too bad. Another thing to take into consideration is that this steering column does have tilt built into it, so I'm going to have to just double check that and let it tilt up and make sure that it's not going to follow the dash, but this is kind of sweet. I like this angle. Basically the stock location too, so the steering wheel itself shouldn't obstruct the view of the uh, speedometer. So, right on. Um, let's go grab ourselves one of those uh, the clamps, we'll grab one of those clamps and kind of get a look at how that will work here. Wow, you really caught yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got caught. Okay. So, yeah, what we'll do is uh, we're going to start disassembling this because what we have to do is try and slide these guys on. This is what's going to hold the mount. And these are going to be the mounts and hold the steering shaft in place. Which, yeah, we'll have to disassemble the shifter piece down here. Pull off the ground. All right, let's start with the flathead and some allens. Like Lemp Biscuit. Like, <laughs> rear rolling. Well, I think we finally got something figured out here. Um, so, originally we thought, like, we'll just take these little brackets and we'll make them a new flat piece and then we'll just mount them on there. But it ends up sitting a little low. And um, what would be kind of nice is to have it tucked up a little closer to the dash. So, we realized that we've got a factory mount location here. And if we go off of this, it's going to get us really close to centered on the dash. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a clevis mount off of here. So we'll ditch these little ears and then we'll use these fasteners. Um, so what you end up with is it's just sort of a like a threaded shaft. No, it's not going to come off. So we're going to have uh, sort of a clevis mount that is going to attach right here and then the arms are going to come down and we're just going to bolt through the side into this guy. So that should be really slick to mount it centered up here and then down in the firewall we'll end up doing, we're going to rebuild this. So this is just some factory um, I don't know, adapter or whatever you want to, you want to call it, access plate. Um, we're popping that thing off and we're going to make our own uh, because we want to be able to seal everything up correctly and we don't need this big weird shape because this thing used to have a column shift so that's what this upper part was for. The lower part was for the uh, steering shaft, the upper part was for the, um, the shifting shaft, the selector or whatever. Um, and then this is actually the brake pedal. Yeah, that's where the brake pedal came through. So all that needs to get sealed up anyways, so we'll make our own little panel for that. Then we'll worry about how we're going to go about mounting the, um, the, the brackets here on the bottom. That should be a little bit more straightforward. This one, this one's going to take a little more creativity, but still shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to grab a little bit of eighth inch steel, cut some strips, um, drill a few holes, and then we're going to kind of uh, mock everything up based on the width of this. Weld it, test it. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too too difficult. So, start by cutting some pieces with the plasma cutter.
I'm not going to rest on it. Oh, wow. It's like I work on stuff every day. All right, what you doing now, dog? I'm going to take this socket off the ratchet and put this other socket on the ratchet. Damn, man. And so what we're going to do is there's this little plate here. We're going to take that off and we'll eventually build a new one um, once we finalize the steering and kind of get to the interior. Uh, mainly because we don't need that hole anymore. That's for the gas pedal. We have a whole new assembly for the car. And Jay pointed out earlier in the video how there's kind of this double opening for the steering column. Because this had a shifter and the shifter rod went on top of the steering column through that, that opening. So we're going to use that as a template and cut out a new piece down the road. But for now we're going to just get it out of the way so we can finish mounting the column to the firewall. Awesome. Like four bolts. Look at that sweet bracket. Simple. Okay, you need some uh, rubber floor mat. Sweet. Just random pieces. Cool, so we'll use those as templates. Uh, yeah, maybe. Sure. We'll have to try and fasten them together. Okay, so now that we've got the column installed and kind of mocked up, I think it, this might be a good time to do the floor plate. So, as you guys can probably hopefully see, there's a hole where the column goes through in these cars, and they make an access plate. The factory had an access plate there. Um, I'm gonna start off by just grabbing some cardboard, and I'm gonna make a template from the cardboard so that I can transfer over to some sheet metal, cut that out, and then start the mock-up process. So, uh, grab some cardboard.
turned out pretty good. Now we can weld it. We'll finish welding all the way around here. Um, well, as much as we can from the back side, so we've got nice lines. Fortunately, that top part we're gonna have to try and fill a little bit, but that's not too big a deal. Should be able to make it look nice. Or your bowels? Oh, my bowels, yeah. Well, my age, yeah. Well, she's painted and uh, came out all right. Yeah, she's pretty runny, but uh, that's not too big a deal considering it's gonna be all hidden. Pretty much everything's hidden except for just this little... Well, actually, really, it's all hidden. <laughs> because there's gonna be a coupler over this. And you'll see like a little teeny bit right there. And then inside the car, I'm going to be putting in carpet, so really most of it will be covered. But anyway, um, so uh, next step is we're going to put this in. Um, we're switching over from quarter 20 to M6 hardware uh, just because I already have the button head, stainless steel button heads for it. So we'll have the buttons sticking out on this side and then snug her all down and we'll leave out the fasteners that are going to hold down the um, steering shaft part because then we've got to test fit the steering shaft and then measure for the double d um uh, shift rod or a shift rod um steering rod that's going to connect the u-joints basically so it's going to bridge between the steering column and the steering box so um Let's bolt this thing in, and uh, I think we're gonna need two hands for this part. See how it goes. Hopefully our garage doesn't flood in the meantime. Double D rod. Three quarter inch double D steering shaft. Yep. So Jake said it ran about 20 bucks, which isn't too yeah. bad. I think it's like something like that shipped. Yeah, so our game plan here is to go from U joint to U joint, measure from face to face, and then we'll actually measure the depth of them where this slides in, add that to our overall measurement, mm -hmm. cut to length. Cut a little long. Yep. Test fit, probably cut a little bit more off, but. You yeah. can't add more, you can take away more though. Yeah, exactly. That's an inch. 14 and a half, let's do 16 and a half and see how it fits in there. Alright. Yeah, probably still have to shave it down just a tiny bit, but... Hey, that's fine. We'll try it. 16 and a half.
moment of truth. <laughs> yeah. Not working brakes. Steering steers. Oh man. Right, so we gotta tighten some things up. But <laughs> nice. Yeah, all we gotta finish up is just to clean up that bracket and put some paint on it. But we'll do that when we actually do the painting episode. So we'll see you guys later. <laughs>